Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to look at one question for differential equation. Where we have a differential equation, the initial conditions are given. And it says the diagram shows a sketch of the graph of the solution for x0 and pi, 2 pi. The graph has stationary points at a and b. And find the y coordinates of a and b, giving each coordinate correct to one decimal place. Okay, so now it says uh, it has stationary points at A and B. So since you remember to find the stationary points, what we do, we uh, do first derivative equal to zero. So we have, let's say, 3y squared dy by dx is equal to 4 times y cubed plus 1 times r squared x. And then dy by dx is equal to 4 times y cubed plus 1 over 3y squared times cos squared x. So here we know dy by dx should be 0. So this will give us this whole thing can be 0. So from here, because we are looking for the x coordinate of this stationary points, so based on that we can find the y coordinates of the stationary points. So if uh, we can see here cos square x is equal to 0. So which means x will be equal to pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2. Because cos is 0 at pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2, 90 degree and 270. So we, we found the x coordinate of the stationary points. And to find the y coordinates of the stationary points, we have to plug these points into the equation of a curve. But right now we have a differential equation, so that means we have to find the equation of a curve. And in that equation of a curve, we will plug these points and we will come up uh, with the y coordinates of A and B. Okay, so here we have equation 3y squared dy by dx, which is a differential equation. So we need to make separable variable method. So 3y squared over 1 plus y cube dy is equal to 4 times cos square x dx. So since we know we have to integrate this. So here for this part, uh, there is a direct way because if you see the uh, derivative of the denominator is in the numerator. So if derivative exists, we can directly write with ln of denominator. And here on this side, we have cos square and we know we cannot uh, integrate square of uh, trigonometric identities. So we have to use the trigonometric identity for double angle to in, in, in order to integrate this. And here for this one, one of the method, as I just said, or another way, you can use the use substitution. So if you use the u substitution, so which is 1 plus y cube, so if you differentiate this, so 3y squared dy, and you can see here the denominator uh, here, this is u, and the numerator here, this is already du, so du by u, so if you integrate this, so this will be ln of u, and if you plug the value of u back, so this is ln of 1 plus y cube. So we can integrate this easily. And here for this one, we need to bring uh, double angle identity, so which is cos 2x. Since we know there are three identities for cos 2x, but we will choose where we have cos in it. So 2 cos square x minus 1, so which means cos square x can be 1 plus cos 2x by 2. So I'll just keep this as it is for a while. And once we will insert here 1 plus cos 2x over 2. So this 2 and this 2 is going to cancel out from here. So we will left over with 2. So now we can easily integrate. So as we saw already, this is ln of 1 plus y cube is equal to two times so once we integrate this integration of one is x and integration of cos 2x is sine 2x over 2 and then plus c 
So ln of 1 plus y cube is equal to 2x plus sine 2x plus c. So now, as you remember, we know the initial condition. So if we use this initial condition when x is 0, y is 2, so we can find the value of c. So which means here, when we will plug the value of y, so it's 2, 2 cube is 8, 8 plus 1 is 9. And this is 0, as we know, sine 0 is 0 plus c, so which means c is equal to ln of 9. So from here, the equation of a curve will be 2x plus sine 2x plus ln of 9. So now, because we already had x coordinate of the stationary points, we need the equation of a curve. If we will plug these points in this equation of a curve, so we will came to know the y coordinates of this stationary points. So what we can do here, we're going to plug the values. So we know as x is equal to 5 by 2 or x is equal to 3 pi by 2. So once we're going to plug here pi by 2, x pi by 2, so this will stay as it is ln of 1 plus y cube is equal to. So 2 times pi by 2 will be pi plus sine 2 times pi by 2 which is sine pi and sine pi is 0 plus ln of 9. So if we simplify this, so pi plus ln of 9, we use calculator and then from there because we need to find what is y. So here this will be e to the power of pi plus ln of 9. So y cube is equal to e to the power of pi plus ln of 9 and minus 1. So which means y cube will be, y is equal to cube root of e to the power pi plus ln of 9 minus 1. And if we use calculator to solve for y here, so we will get the value for this one, which is, so the value for y is 5.9. So that is the y coordinate. And then to, in order to find the second y coordinate, so we will substitute 3 pi by 2. So again, ln of 1 plus y cube is equal to 2 times 3 pi by 2, which means this is 3 pi. And then sine of 3 pi plus ln of 9. So again, since sine pi is 0, so 3 pi will be again 0. So that means 1 plus y to the power 3 is equal to e to the power of 3 pi plus ln of 9. And then y is equal to cube root of e to the power 3 pi plus ln of 9 minus 1. Once we calculate this, so once we will calculate, so this is, uh, this will be 48.1. So now we know the both y coordinates of a and b and it says giving each one correct to one decimal place. So we have given one decimal place here, one decimal place here. This is very important. When you finish the question, you have to see in which form you have to give your final answer. Hope this is clear to you. Thanks for watching.